Now, if we follow the Spirit, the Holy Ghost, He is bound to lead us in line with the Word. If we start following the Word, because you see, the Word of God is Spirit anointed and Spirit guided, it will lead us in the same direction. For the Spirit, the Bible tells us, and the Word agree. Hallelujah. My son, incline thine ear unto my sayings. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. Notice what he said, keep them. What? My words in the midst of thine heart. I can remember, I knew in my heart that I was healed before my body ever knew it or responded to it. I knew it right in here. You know, everything you get from God, you really receive in your spirit first, and then it shows up on the outside. That is, if you walk in the light of it. But now when I was there on the bed of sickness, I began to not only say, I believe that I receive healing, for the two serious organic heart troubles and the paralysis and the incurable blood disease. But then I began to thank God because I knew it in here. Well, now, why did I know it in here? Because I knew the word in here. I had put that word into my spirit. How did I do it? By meditating upon it, by thinking upon it, by feeding upon it until it became a part of me. And so I, so I knew in my heart, you see, your heart is your spirit. So a better way to say it was, I knew in my spirit that I was healed before my body ever knew it and ever responded to it. But when I knew that, see, keep them, what? Them, my words, in the midst of thine heart. Your heart's your spirit. For they are life. Oh, hallelujah unto those that find them. And health. They are, my words are, health to all of their flesh. Now, you know, if a man knows the word, or a person knows the word, he knows in his heart that he's saved e even before there's any evidence of salvation. There's no outward evidence, but he has, he knows in here because his spirit bears witness with our spirits.